Your skin looks like pearls. And we back. Ow. Okay, first of all, why am I over here looking like the wild thornberries? This is after five weeks, January 30th. This is what my head was looking like. Um, not a vibe, but she immediately got to work. I know it looks like she snatched my scalp, but it really didn't hurt at all. Honestly, though, when I saw this, I was thinking, I'm glad I didn't start with coils because I knew those cute little, you know, Twists, coils, whatever, we're not going to stay like that for five weeks. But, you know, it was giving. It was giving. It got a little bit thicker. It was giving new growth. Let's get into it. So I am here with my first retwist. I started on December 22nd. It is January 30th. And I feel like they have thickened up a little bit already, which I love that for me. Um, I was going to try to make it like really consistent and like make sure I had the same view as last time and the same shirt and all that. But let's be honest, I am sleepy and I'm not going to do all that. I didn't even set up the phone like I had it last time set up all nice in our office. So like <sighs> it was a good view. Now I'm like holding it. My arm's getting tired. I figured I'd do this view too. It's a little better and it shows the thickening a little better which I love. I talked to my loctician about keeping my ends curly because one of my sorority sisters was telling me that her sister does that. And she told me all I have to do is like use conditioner and a little bit of water on the ends and like a rack tail comb and like do that. So I will probably be one of those people that goes for the curly ends because I think they're just so cute. And I love uh, just the look of the curly ends. Let me think. I was nervous when I first went in because I thought she'd be like, girl, what have you been doing? Because I haven't been doing anything with my hair. But she was like, hey, this is really good progress. It looks good. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, she did tell me the witch hazel I've been using on my scalp because I go to the gym a lot. Uh, she was telling me that that's supposed to be mixed with water. So now I know it's like a 50-50 mix. And then you put it on. But I did have quite a bit of buildup. Um, so she didn't use product on my hair this time. She said that might help. I was telling her I have often dealt with a lot of buildup because I do go to the gym a lot and the salt from the sweat, it gets on the scalp and blah, 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 blah. So I think it will help when I do the witch hazel. And then she told me follow up the witch hazel, witch hazel with the oil. So, um, don't just feel like I have to do it every time, but when I start to see the dandruff or whatever, definitely do the witch hazel and the oil. So I feel good about trying that next time. She asked me how I felt. Uh, we're at five weeks right now. I was like, I felt bad after two weeks. Like I felt like my hair was looking rough. She was like, oh, we can move it to four weeks, but I'll just keep it at five. It's not that big of a deal. Also, because I don't mind throwing on a wig. Honestly, I really don't. If I have like around the house to the gym, little errands, whatever, but if I have like a major event or something, I'm not ready to like, you know, show the world my huge forehead and big face yet. I mean, I think it looks adorable and really that's all that should matter, but I feel most confident in those situations when I'm wearing this wig that I got that is so close to how my hair was uh, when it was just blown out. So love that for me and I'm loving the journey.